Patients, doctors, and healthcare systems all want access to safe and effective medicine. They want it quickly and affordably. But that doesn't justify taking shortcuts that actually hurt patients in the long term. Shortcuts like compulsory licensing. Never heard of it? Well, here's how it works. When manufacturers create a new medicine, they receive a patent and the promise that, for a limited time, that medicine can be produced only by them. This encourages investment and continued research so that new medicines are constantly being developed. But with compulsory licensing, regulators break that promise. They allow other companies to sell copies of the medicine before the patent expires. Quick, cheap drugs sound appealing, but there are real consequences to compulsory licensing. First, medicine copies made from a compulsory license may not have been produced with the same quality standards. Just because a company has a compulsory license does not mean it has the background knowledge or the capacity to produce the medicine with the same efficiency and safety as the original. Second, compulsory licensing undermines the development of new treatments. Manufacturers rely on patents to help recoup their investments so they can continue bringing new medicines to people who need them. Without this income, they may have to cut new research short, halting medical innovation. And third, compulsory licensing discourages manufacturers from doing clinical trials in countries that don't honor patents. This is a loss for patients who miss a chance to receive treatment. It is also a loss for local economies, which would otherwise get a boost from having clinical trials in the region. A better option for long-term patient access is a voluntary licensing arrangement. That's when patent holders partner with other companies, sharing expertise about how to safely make the medicine in question. Arrangements that prioritize the long-term well-being of patients, not short-sighted cost-cutting, are the best bet for patients, their health, and the regional economies where they live.